and we are back. Greetings everyone, it's me, Warlord again, and welcome to Final Fantasy VIII to Let's Play Part 2. As you can see, we're getting straight into this and heading into the Fire Cave. Another quick uh, tutorial here on how to Junction Magic, but as uh, you might have guessed, I already know how to do that, and I have levelled up a few times. Yes, I know how to use the Gunblade Quistis, don't worry about that. I've said it to Otto, so quick look here. You'll see uh, we've got all this magic now. Basically just drawing from all the enemies in the area. It's the only way to get it all. And my GFs both uh, started learning their next uh, abilities, but both have boost. So yeah, and Shiva there as well with boost. So we've got the two abilities I needed. Not done too much grinding. Obviously I don't want to be stupidly OP just yet. But uh, I end up, I'm not on that yet, yeah, we'll end up overpowered at some point because I do tend to get a bit carried away with the grinding stuff. Now, the interesting thing about this, you actually have a time limit to choose. And I'm going to do it in 10 minutes because I know I can. But uh, it affects a score that you get later on after the, uh, the exam that they keep talking about, the field exam. So, always best to go with the short amount of time, because as soon as you beat Ifrit, you uh, you actually don't need to worry about time, because it stops and goes away after that. Yeah, just a simple uh, linear path, just follow it round to get to where you're going. Quistis doesn't really add anything important to the conversation. <laughs> I really should have got the Steam versions of these, they worked so much better. Maybe in the new year I'll get them, and then I'd do disc 2 of a Steam version or something like that. And these enemies, thankfully, are very easy to beat. Boom, and you're dead. And again with... Boom, and you're dead. Nice and easy. of AP there. Right, now there's a draw point just to the right here but uh, I don't need it because it's only got fire in it. You can just see it there on the right of the screen. Because uh, if you fight the bite bug enemies on the overworld you uh, well you can draw fire from them. That's how come we already have a hundred. Oh great. Fight some bombs now. Yes, a firebomb you have to use uh, ice, but like any Final Fantasy game you learn this very quickly how to use elements to your advantage. I'll just summon Shiva here just to obliterate them. It's a bit, uh, bit of overkill really, but I should also be able to show you the boost ability as well. Good thing about the GFs as well, while you're waiting for them to summon, their health overrides yours, so they take any damage for you as well. So there you go, you just hit, repeatedly hit the square button. Unless that red X comes across the hand, then you stop. There he goes, wait, carry on. You have to hold select as well to get rid of the health bars and that, so you can actually see the press square button function. There you see, nice and easily. Took him out. Emstone pieces, they're good for getting magic. Should really grind this area as well, actually, get some a lot of emstone pieces for when I've got uh, the ability to change items to magic. Oh well. Couple more bats, easy to take care of. Seven minutes left on the clock, still plenty of time. If I'm correctly defeating Ifrit, it only takes about, I'd say about five minutes, if that. And that's including all the chatting and everything that goes on around it. Now 
another couple of AP. Lovely jabbly. Well, here we go. This is where we fight Ifrit. Are you ready? Of course I'm blooming ready. I wouldn't be here if I wasn't. The thing with Ifrit is uh, you can actually have uh, two responses from him. Because he actually comments if you have Shiva. Which obviously you'll see shortly because uh, I'll be summoning her. I think as well if you defeat him with Shiva or you defeat him yourself, he has two different ending responses as well. Bit of blizzard magic. Just keep spamming it for now. Which this is all you've got to keep doing. Just spam the blizzard magic and summon Shiva. And he'll go down without any real trouble. The diamond dust. This is where the boost ability comes really useful. Just wish I could tie and tap a little bit quicker. Nice, just shot a 300 there. And he's going to say something. Yep, they have Shiva. I'm just going to keep spamming him with this. He'll fall in no time at all then. Not bad for a human. That means he's really weak. A few more hits should do it. Impudent human. <laughs> All that for just over 150 damage. Talk about trying to oversell it. I'm going to keep spamming the square button. That red X can really screw you over quite a lot. Because if you do press square when the red X is up, you'll drop back down to 75. So you want to try and be very careful when doing that. I do sometimes get a bit carried away with it and <laughs> forget to uh, stop. Bonk. There we go. For me to lose to human very well, I will join you. There we go, we have a third summon. So I almost like to try and tell you you're going to have a third person in your team soon. And yet again you can rename him if you want to. And I see the timer has now gone. More tutorials, yes I know how to do fire junction stuff so I don't need to worry about that, so you know, and I can put something to strength. Put some fire in there and because I'm in the fire area put blizzard for my elemental attack. And now all we have to do is leave and head back to Balan Garden. Still no use for that fire draw point. <laughs> Get ourselves a little battle on the way out. Oh, these enemies are even easier. I bet they have any health at all. A 
bit more experience, not much but every little helps. Go. My button didn't work for a minute there. <laughs> oh dear. Another fight. <laughs> the enemies don't want to see me leave. Oh, ah, it's just the one. If it's just the one, it's never any trouble. See, uh, Squall does a fair whack of damage now. I would be weary though with uh, Elemental Attack Junction just because uh, well, you need to know where you are. Like in here, perfect with ice, but obviously out in the overworld, you probably won't be fighting up nothing but fire elements, so you need to uh, always make sure you check and change what you've got. As you probably noticed, I'm getting a few cards over doing this, so that'll come in useful later. Oh, the two guards are gone. I always wonder where they end up disappearing to. Right, back to the uh, world map. So let's visit the draw point again, see if I can talk about a blizzard. <laughs> With just the one. <laughs> Never has much in it, but it's useful early on. Give you a few uh, bit of ice magic. And there's the bite bugs that I was getting the uh, fire from. Did I? Did I set Ifrit up to learn boost? I can't remember anymore. I don't think I did. Boom. That's you defeated. Oh, so close to leveling up. And Quizzicott will learn card. Start sorting out uh, my GFs again. Let's cut all. You can learn HP junction. No, well, for, oh, oh, card mod. That will come useful because uh, it lets me turn card to items. See, these are the cards I've got at the moment. And uh, oh, there's bomb, <laughs> the bomb one I got recently, and Ifrit. I said the special cards like Ifrit and that you only get one of at any given time. So let's uh, level up income. One of them only needs one more bit of experience, so might as well top it up. Face three bite bugs. Oh well, not too difficult. I've been spamming killing them for a while now. And there we go. Squad level 9, Christus level 10. She ever leveled up. Lovely. Mm, need to exchange some magic around here. So top up the blizzard. <laughs> Quistus won't be needing it. 
good thing is I can exchange it all later anyway from one character to another without having to faff around. Let's just take Shiva off you. Give it to Squall, because I think I might do some more grinding. Might as well. First things first, I'm going to get rid of uh, Quistis from the team because I don't really need her now. Fun fact, you do actually have to be careful about who... Oh, bugger up. It went down instead of up. Silly. But yeah, you have to be careful how you junction your GFs. Like, if you have Shiva and Ifrit in the same team, they kind of counter-attack each other, so... Your affinity with them, because you do have affinity with each summon, your affinity will go down. Oh, yeah, take care of you, Jeff. We've done this. That's why they're all learning what they need to. Yeah, we've got to go back to the bedroom to change into a uniform. But I think that's going to do it for here. We took out the fire cave got another summon I'm gonna do a bit more grinding get it for it to learn boost and uh, maybe get a couple more levels on squall see how I feel but uh, thank you very much for watching I hope you've enjoyed part two feel free to like comment and subscribe and uh, I'll see you all for part three bye bye